This relationship between price and quantity supplied is so prevalent that we call it the law of supply. This law says that if the only thing that changes is the price, the change in quantity supplied is positively related to that price change. That is, if the price goes up, so does the quantity supplied. If the price falls, so does the quantity supplied. You might wonder why some goods have high prices and other goods have low prices. It's the interaction of supply and demand that determines the price of most goods and services here in the United States. In general, if demand is high relative to supply, the price is going to be higher. And if supply is relatively higher than demand, the price is going to be lower. So it's this interaction of supply and demand that determines the price. And keep in mind resource costs play a large role in the ultimate price of an item. So here we've got potatoes, $2 per pound, eggplant for $3, cucumbers $2.50, beets $3.50, and Anaheim peppers $4 a pound. So we see a wide variety of prices for different types of produce. And this will be the interaction of supply and demand that helps determine that different vegetables go for different prices. And a key factor for determining the price um, on the supply side is the resource cost. So it's presumable that there are different factors at play in producing cucumbers and potatoes and beets. So I see that Roma tomatoes and heirloom tomatoes are different prices. Why yes. is that? Well, the, air, the Roma tomato mm -hmm. variety here, this is actually a Roma as well, but this variety is a hybrid and this is an heirloom. Heirloom tomatoes are a little bit harder to grow. Oh. And so the reason for the higher price. Is they're harder to grow? Higher, yeah, harder to grow and less productive, so it takes a lot more energy and a lot more plants to produce the same amount as the hybrids. As the hybrids, very interesting. You may or may not think the market price is fair. For example, you might think that the price of a movie ticket is too high. The price of a movie ticket is set by the forces of supply and demand. Not all consumers who want to see a movie will be able to afford a ticket. Some will choose not to buy a ticket because they'd rather spend the money on something else. The opportunity cost is too high. However, many consumers do choose to buy the ticket and see the movie. The market is described as amoral not to be confused with immoral. The market allocates resources according to supply and demand, not anyone's particular moral judgment. The scarce resources are allocated by price. In the same vein, some sellers go out of business if the market price is too low for them to cover their costs or if it is too low to make it worth their while to produce. The sellers who are willing and able to keep their costs down will be able to stay in the market.